Farmers, this is Priscilla Nyeria from Wonderful Heaven Fruits Orchard and today I'm shooting in my mega nursery ready to educate this young generation who want to venture into agribusiness. Welcome to my today's video. These two brothers of mine here want to venture into agriculture. They want to live the city life and come to village life. We live in a village a semi-arid area and now I want us to learn together with them how to raise this baby wambugu apple until it starts producing please welcome to my youtube channel welcome. yeah karibuni now feel free to ask to ask any question oh so so yeah our first question actually mm -hmm. uh, which is the best soil type to start with seedlings Okay, the best soil to grow Wambugu apple is any soil, mm -hmm. any climatic condition, mm -hmm. the Wambugu apple will do well. Mm -hmm. Now the difference will come here mm -hmm. while watering, mm -hmm. because in some places you find that they receive enough rainfall mm -hmm. to raise the seedlings or the plant. Mm -hmm. But in some places, if the place is in semi-arid area, mm -hmm. you need to be watering your plant. Mm -hmm. That is where the difference comes in. Mm -hmm. Also in the soil type, the difference will come in in a way that in some soils they are very fertile, like the black cotton soil. I've ever done a video in Kirenyaga whereby the soil is black. That one you don't have to be adding manure now and then because the soil is already fertile. Or in some virgin lands whereby those people have never planted anything in that land. So you find that the nutrients are still virgin. Nobody has used those nutrients to grow anything else that is where the difference comes in but in any soil any climate wambugu apple will do well and uh, how long does it take to flower wow mm -hmm. it can start flowering even while still in the nursery nice. but now mm -hmm. it's nice mm -hmm. but you want to venture into it as an investment ah. When it's, it, yeah, yeah, it's a, an investment. So while it is flowering in the nursery, mm -hmm. maybe one or two fruits mm -hmm. or flowers, but now you, you are not focusing on one or two flowers. Mm -hmm. You want it to bear fruits that you can sell or you can take to your market. Mm -hmm. so now, mm -hmm. what you do, it will start fruiting even immediately after transplanting. Mm -hmm. But uh, we actually discourage that. We ask people to apply vegetative foliar. And this is organic vegetative foliar, mm -hmm. where we have organic sources like we have always been saying about the rabbit urine. Uh -huh. That is organic source of vegetative foliar. We also have dirty fish water. Dirty fish? Yeah. Dirty fish water? Yes. Dirty fish water in terms of what? In terms of if somebody is doing aquaculture, uh -huh. you, you should be changing your water. So use that water still to farm? Yes. So you're using that water mm -hmm. still to do your apple farming. It is very rich in nitrogen. Are you getting? Are you getting yeah. So that is what you will come spray to your plants to encourage it to have more branches. What the nitrogen does, mm -hmm. you see, when the plant is growing, you majorly focus on nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And what you do after spraying your nitrogen to the flower, the nitrogen will tell the flower it's, the flower, it's not time to produce the flower or to fruit, mm -hmm. but it's time to grow. So the flower will abort and give chance for the branch to grow. Are you getting? Yeah, yeah, that is what we use. But when the plant is nine months, that is where we release it to start now having fruits. Because you find that when the plant is nine months to one year, and some will start producing at 14 months, the plant is big enough, has enough branches to hold the weight of that particular fruit. But now if you had released it to start fruiting at two months, you'll only be having two fruits or three which you cannot take to the market. That one you will just eat it yourself. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, the third question is, mm -hmm. how many challenges do you face? Challenges will always be there. Like, let's say when you are planting, you need to have water mm -hmm. and source of manure. So those two are the major challenges. Mm -hmm. 
and like for example for me here i had water and i had manure in one of my farms mm -hmm. but the problem was to get that water from the borehole mm -hmm. to every each and every plant that was the problem which is the irrigation system mm -hmm. you can even install the irrigation system but now you find that the line is not able to feed the farthest plant because of pressure those are some of the challenges water the other challenge is giving excess water you need enough but not excess uh -huh. yeah you have to balance not excess and not and how do you know when to balance and when not, when not? you you need to do your soil testing like you are sampling using your hands uh -huh. yeah you squeeze if some water are seeping out that one is excess water excess. if the plant if the soil is still dry that is squeezing, eh? yeah we will do it practically nice. to show that one the other challenge is fungal infection Fungal, fungal fungal infection and it is brought especially when there is this cold season mm -hmm. that is where the plant gets mo mostly is affected with the fungal infection mm -hmm. that is when we encourage people to spray organic fungicide mm -hmm. yeah nice. those are the challenges the other challenge for somebody who is who doesn't know how to take care of this plant mm -hmm. it comes here you see we have these two plants mm -hmm. This one is the one that is coming from the roots. This is not what we are investing from. Okay. In. Uh -huh. We are investing in this one. Okay. So if you allow this one to grow, uh -huh. you are going to the wrong direction. So how do you handle that? Do you uproot it? Yes, you have to uproot it or you cut it from here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Also, this one is a good example of fungal infection. You can see this plant is not as healthy as it should be. You cannot compare that plant with these ones which are here or this one here. Both are seedlings. Mm -hmm. uh, Hold this one. Both are seedlings mm -hmm. but this one is better in better quality mm -hmm. than this one. This one is tall well mm -hmm. but again you can see the leaves. Plants communicate through the leaves. You can see the leaves are folding, some are drying. Mm -hmm. This is a fungal infection. But this one is a healthy seedlings. Seedling. Actually, when going for a seedling, you should go for this kind of seedling. Because this one is sick. So you will transfer the same problem to your farm. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yeah. Yes. Next question. Uh, so let's go to the market. Mm -hmm. After rotation and everything mm -hmm. is there a ready market for these fruits yeah ready market is there what is the both price? locally uh -huh. and internationally uh -huh. right now we are selling at four dollars per kg four dollars yes that's nice four dollars per kg uh -huh. that is about let's say, let's say about eight fruits, uh -huh. eight fruits. yeah eight, eight fruits it's equivalent to one kg yeah that is nice. four dollars four dollars eight yes. fruits yeah four dollars and again mm -hmm. when the plant is starting to fruit you have to be having about 50 to 100 fruits from the same plant yes from one single plant 50 to 100 yes so a lazy farmer or who is not lucky enough mm -hmm. will be having 50 50 to yeah. yes so 50 is the average yeah 50 is the average when the plant is starting to fruit mm -hmm. when it it gets to maturity at two and a half years. Mm -hmm. This is where the plant is able to give you about 500 fruits per season. From 300 to 500 fruits per season. And the plant has three seasons per year. Wow. Yes. Wow. So after three seasons are mm -hmm. over, they are already... The, yes. It appears like this. It's like you're harvesting after every three months you're having a season after every three months you're having a season yeah with the proper watering proper manuring and weeding mm -hmm. yes so oh, that's nice but do they d delay do they delay in when it comes to fruitation uh because like for example mm -hmm. in maize there's a season where they delay mm -hmm. Uh, for certain reasons. Mm -hmm. Is it a sure bet of three seasons per year? Yes, if you are taking proper care. But now you are finding that the plant is giving flowers, uh -huh. but the problem is flower abortion. 
Tell that me. is another challenge mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. people are facing in apple farming and especially Wambugu apple farming. Mm -hmm. You're finding that the plant is flowering, 80% of the plant is flowers. Mm -hmm. But now after one month, mm -hmm. you come find that the fruits, uh, I mean the flowers have aborted. The problem is that maybe it's fungal infection. Mm -hmm. It's really affecting most of our farmers. Fungal infection? Yes, when you see the flowers, you now spray fungicide. Or others are spraying the nitrogen. Mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. the foliar feed that mm -hmm. has nitrogen so it will abort mm -hmm. and allow the branches to come out so when they start flowering you should now stop spraying your vegetative foliar and now focus on something that is there to boost the flowers and the fruits mm -hmm. yeah that's nice that's mm -hmm. nice oh no need to yeah, oh, yeah. for now for now we don't have any other questions okay yeah. Now, I want us to go to the farm and we plant, but before then, mm -hmm. I have shown you the best quality seedlings. Mm -hmm. Now it's your time to select. The best? Yes. Uh -huh. I've already seen mine. I've already seen mine. Pick it. Uh, you say they communicate through the leaves? Yes. So I'm supposed to look for the most healthy, most healthy one. You as also. This is oh, yeah. Mine, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I will also pick my choice, the one that I had chosen. Nice. Wow. Mm. This is what. You choose. Why did you choose this one? Uh, I'd say the leaves, they look healthy, but I'm disappointed because of this one. Mm -hmm. This is what is disappointing you. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yours? Mine, I chose this because it seems healthy to me. Mm -hmm. And this other thing has the fungi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference between yours and mine? Uh, mine is shorter than yours. That is the only difference. Okay, and yours? Mine it's taller better than, than yours, mine. But unfortunately, that I'm one not sure I'm about this. I don't know where coming may talk if it has come from the root mm -hmm. or it's supposed to be there. No, I'm not sure. Wow. Uh, and what if it's, it's short? Mm -hmm. Is it healthy enough? Height has nothing to do, mm -hmm. but I'm here. Mm -hmm. As the African fruit farming queen, mm -hmm. I'm here to say that your choices were not good. I would give you <laughs> four out of ten, okay. but I would give you two out of ten. Two? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at mine here. Uh -huh. This plant is grafted uh -huh. and it is healthy and it, it is growing. Yours is also grafted, mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. we have to remove this one and this leave one. this. This is where it was grafted. Here, on oh. this. So on we this have one. to remove this. This one. Now this is the mistake I was telling you. People, mm -hmm. maybe for you, you would have removed this one. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Now you are removing the plant that you, are, you want. You are removing the Wambugu apple and now focusing on this wild apple which will fruit after 10 years oh. and wambugu apple will start fruiting after nine or one year let's say one year oh. yes that's why i gave you two but i would have given you zero because you wanted to remove this one since you have not removed that's why i gave you two now for this one it is grafted well but again the plant has fungal yeah. That's why we chose this place that had fungal infection. So yours is not, it can recover, yes, and it will recover. But again, why didn't you go for this one, which is healthy, and you went for the one that is sick? When I was saying height is not a problem, we have this one. 
this is a smaller one but it is actually the best because it has two branches which are very healthy yeah and already the grafting tape has been removed see okay. mm -hmm. yeah so to be completely supposed to be removed yes to be on the safer side because you see some people will forget about removing it yeah, and then it will cut your your plant and you'll be left with the wild apple it is healed and the branches are from the grafted part oh the upper yes so everything below the grafted area you have to remove it yes now we will go to plant your choices i will also go for my choice but i will move from this part and go for the best this is where I want to ask to add more apples and also we can also remove these weeds this is what we call unwinding see the weeds are growing where the plant is because we are watering we have the button drip irrigation yes so we will also unweed it's a very good time for you to see how we unweed and this is the position where we will add our apple sure. We make two feet depth hole. Now we will mix our manure with this soil and then plant. So I recommend two spade per hole. Two good spades. And then you mix well. I will put some soil in the hole yeah because we are avoiding the grafted part to be covered with the soil oh. and we plant you always make sure that your plant is at the middle of the hole and you cannot cover with this soil that is mixed with manure. it is raining we will cover to the top if you are planting your seedlings during the rainy season make sure that you cover to the top so that when the rains come the water will not have somewhere to settle and making leading to your plant having root rot so you cover to the top even the other part there The next thing we will go to do, this is how you will plant your 
Wambogo apples. The next thing is to earn weeds. You can see the weeds are growing on where we have the our apples. So you will unweed. And when are we unweeding, make sure you don't take your jembe at the stem of your plant. that to the other plants. Remove the weeds. done with unweeding these parts for demonstration and now we need to apply manure to our plants so we make a place for our manure to come you can do the basin or you do the lines
No, you avoid the tree trunk. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, surrounding. Yes, surrounding. Then you mix your manure with your jembe. Let me show you. Add more manure here. We have done the practical part of planting and applying manure. Do you have any other question? Uh, after conducting the process of planting, I don't think there's any questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's any questions. You are okay. Let's partner's nice question. I don't think there's another question I have for you. You are okay. Now the, the next question, you will have it when you plant and while taking care of these plants. Okay. Yes. If there is something that makes me happy as African fruit farming queen is introducing the young generation into agribusiness. My people, I'm more than ready to introduce you into profitable agribusiness. We have so many people who have lands here in Africa. They don't know what to go for. They have no idea how to start farming. Priscilla Nyeria, your African queen, is more than ready to guide you into this. Let us invest into our land, utilize them in a better way or in the best way that it can. Remember, somebody else bought the, the land or you yourself invested in that land with the aim of having something or that land giving you a profit or paying you or paying your bills. Let us invest in Wambogo Apple. Remember, this is something that is born in Africa, born in Kenya. It is our own make. Thank you very much for watching my today's video. I am your best farmer, the African fruit farming queen, Priscilla Nyeria. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in my next video. Bye bye.